We turn to another big story now. Today, lawmakers met on Capitol Hill to discuss how Greenbelt, Maryland got selected as the site of the new FBI headquarters. All right, so before we get into the how, here's why this should matter to you. Our region is huge and full of federal workers, so whoever gets the headquarters also gets three things, an influx of jobs, a boost to the economy, and ultimately a sense of equity. Our Adam Longo has been following this decision from the jump. He joins us with some key takeaways from today's hearing. We have many steps to go. Uh, this will be investigated. This will be examined. Northern Virginia Democratic Congressman Jerry Connolly pledging it isn't over. The Republican chairman of the House Oversight Committee agrees. We have a lot of concerns uh, in addition to the site selection as to whether or not the FBI is deserving of uh, a building with that price tag. The decision last Wednesday night to award the new FBI headquarters to Greenbelt in Prince George's County was mired in controversy by Thursday morning. I understand Virginia being a little concerned that they did not win this. FBI Director Christopher Ray sent a letter to FBI employees alleging that Nina Albert, the woman in charge of selecting Greenbelt, was biased towards Prince George's County and had a conflict of interest since she previously worked for WMATA and it owns the land in Greenbelt where the new FBI headquarters is slated to be built. This has been a very clear process. She was vetted properly. She passed every review. Albert has not responded to our multiple requests for comment, and she now works for the Mayor Bowser's administration. I asked my general counsel to look into all of the concerns that were raised uh, in Director Ray's letter, and they found those to be without merit. He says, they we have concerns about fairness and transparency in the process and GSA's failure to adhere to its own psych selection plan. So he didn't just say there were problems. He said, you didn't follow your own rules. And you say that's not true? Our general counsel found that we did follow all of the rules. What do you say? You're the I, boss. I agree that we followed all of the rules. Everybody knows that we need a, a new FBI headquarters. Do you believe that the FBI needs a new headquarters? Absolutely not. 145 Republicans voted last week to prohibit Congress from buying the Greenbelt site. The move failed, but it is likely to be raised again. If that facility is indeed terrible, I mean, again, why are they trying to, again, locate it in Washington, D.C.? You can get way better, cheaper land in other parts of the country, so why do they want to consolidate it? We have common interest in looking at this particular issue. We do not have the same motivation for why. Congressman Connolly not ruling out voting with Republicans to keep the government from buying the Greenbelt site. That's one of the next steps in this process. Now, I tried to speak with Administrator Carnahan after the hearing. I just wanted to ask if you could assure our folks on this side of the Potomac that the process was fair for FBI. Absolutely. So Congressman Connolly, again, a Democrat from Northern Virginia, will be teaming up with the Republican chair of the Oversight Committee, James Comer of Kentucky, to ask for an inspector general investigation of how the process played out for selecting the site in Greenbelt for FBI headquarters. Also, Chairman Comer alluding to the fact that he may want a standalone hearing about the FBI and the site selection process to happen at a later date in front of the Oversight Committee. And Connolly said he'd be on board for that as well. From the U.S. Capitol tonight, Adam Longo, WUSA.